We're playing Animal Revolt Battle Simulator and today we have the Mutant Megalodon competing in the death run and first up are the wild boars and you can see how they get devoured by the giant jaws of the Mutant Megalodon. Even the tongue is sticking out with all those spikes. These guys are the first ones up the bat and you can see how they were destroyed so quickly. Next up are the bulls. The mutant megalodon comes with the jaws and devours the first one. The other ones are for their buddy, but that just makes them an easy target. You can see how the mutant megalodon sends that bull flying, spinning him three times. What a dizzy disaster for the bulls. Next up are the giant bulldog ants. And that mutant megalodon takes that ant for a ride, doing 720 degrees of spin. Next, the spikes are coming out of him, and he is just piercing the giant bulldog ants. The ones that he isn't devouring with the tongue, he hits them with the spikes. The giant stag beetle enters the fray, and he gets bit twice by the mutant megalodon. Even the tongue comes out to make an appearance. And that giant bulldog ant is trying to escape. He is trying to save his life to get away, but he only runs into the wall. And the mutant megalodon just finishes him off. What a disaster for this giant stag beetle, also trying to get out of there. And the mutant megalodon catches up to him, catches up to the rhinos too. These guys enter the fight so foolishly and they are just being flung around. It doesn't matter if they're a rhino, the mutant megalodon is just taking him out no matter his size. Next we got the hippos and the mutant megalodon comes up and he is just devouring the head of that Hippo, the hippo is gone so quickly, he might be playing dead, he doesn't even want to get involved. We got the Ankylosaurus just waiting, I guess they're so confident with their powerful armor, but against the Megalodon it's nothing. We got the mutant primates coming in too, they are swarming him, we got Shadowrilla and the knockout artist. And the mutant megalodon is in a feeding frenzy. The spikes are coming out. The wolverilla uses his hook shot to come in closer to chop the mutant megalodon. What a bad decision that was. That just brings you closer. You gotta escape, not get closer. And the mutant megalodon is just taking him out with the spikes. What a way to go for these mutant primates. Next up are the two giraffes and the mutant megalodon comes and that giraffe folds like a lawn chair. Those thin legs just get snapped in two from the giant jaws. And in contrast we got the elephants way bigger than the giraffes. We'll see if they suffer the same fate though. Even the Parasaurolophus stand no chance against the mutant megalodon. They're coming with three to swarm him and they are going after his tail and the mutant megalodon just welcomes it. Doing a 360, a 720 spin, biting him, taking this Parasaurolophus for a ride. What a disaster for that dinosaur. What a crazy situation, we got the titanoboas going after the megalodon and the megalodon is doing cartwheels in the air while he's biting them, sending them into the sky and before he flings them down, even the therizinosaurus just got dropped that way. The titanoboa is hanging on but the megalodon is just chopping up that tail, turning it into dead meat. He's got tangled up in the spikes and he's gotta take so much damage from that. He needs to just give up and escape but he's holding on and the mutant megalodon turned that titanoboa into his true toy.
Next up, the Brachiosaurus and the Megalodon goes right after that neck. Straight after the neck and now he's moving down. Trying to chop him in two. Trying to bite right through his neck like it's gonna be his chew toy for the day. He's going after the legs and brings down the giant beast. The Brachiosaurus calls on the primates for help. Here comes Goro the giant ready to deliver some punches to the Megalodon. The Brachiosaurus needs all the help he can get. The Brachiosaurus tries to deliver some stomps. And the Megalodon flings that other primate into the wall and he just drops sliding down the whole wall. The Megalodon is still chomping at the legs of the Brachiosaurus and the tongue makes an appearance flinging at Goro the giant just making him into his ragdoll. What a disaster for these two. He finishes off the Brachiosaurus and now he's after Goro the giant just pounding on him. Goro the giant gets up in a daze wondering what happened to him. Megalodon is just biting him, taking his time, chomping and chomping at his head, at his chest, turning Goro the giant into dead meat. He is spin move attacking him with the spikes. Goro the giant tries to fight back valiantly, throwing some punches into the sides. But I don't know if he has any life in him to beat this terrible ferocious beast and Goro the giant has fallen. What a tough segment of the battle. Next up the Triceratops army right around the corner. The mutant Megalodon goes after the first. The Triceratops tries to attack the Megalodon with his horn but the Megalodon has its own spikes and he meets him dead on and crushes him. Here we got another Triceratops also being spun around and around by that Megalodon. The fearsome spikes that just pierce right through any armor and that Triceratops is just being eaten alive. He is trying to escape but the Megalodon just bites onto him crushing his neck and all of his spine. What a meal for the Megalodon. You can see how that Triceratops is escaping, but he really can't. Not when you're being snatched in that steel grip by the Megalodon. And the Megalodon has taken out all of them. It doesn't matter if they have several teaming up on him. He just gets up in the air pierces him with his spikes and just begins his dinner time. He is now going after the leg of the Triceratops as it frantically tries to get away. It is in a crisis mode. It is in a danger zone. Even with two going after the mutant Megalodon, it is not a pretty sight for them. The mutant Megalodon finally finishes them all off and throws that triceratops right to the side. Next up we got the T-Rex and the mutant megalodon comes around and splings them and spins them and throws them right to the ground. He made short work of that T-Rex and here we got the last T-Rex and he is bit by the megalodon. The megalodon grabs the tail and spins that T-Rex in a cyclone flinging him into the wall and it's lights out for that T-Rex. Thank you for watching Animal Revolt Battle Simulator. Please like and subscribe.